Hey folks, everything new on the sun. Well, this is a breaking news. This is today from Infowars.com. Emergency U.S., Russia, and China prepared neutron bombs for possible North Korea strike. And why is this uh, very significant? Well, it's very biblically prophetic. I'm going to go to, uh, this is uh, MessianicLiterary.com. And uh, it speaks of an end time prophecy uh, of Zechariah and a neutron bomb, or what is described, what describes a neutron bomb in Baal prophecy. Let's look at it here, Zechariah 14.12. Um, so the Zechariah 14.12 is describing a battle and describing the effects of, of some sort of weapon. This is the plague with which the Lord will strike all the nations that fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh will rot while they are standing on their feet. Their eyes will rot in their sockets. And their tongues will rot in their mouths. So what sort of weapon could that be? Or what, what sort of natural phenomenon could that be? This prophecy seemed like a horrific fantasy until the dawn of the nuclear age. In the 1970s, Samuel Cohen, a nuclear physicist, physicist, invented a new tactical nuclear weapon called the neutron bomb, which would have the exact effect of Zechariah's prophecy. What is a neutron bomb? Quickly, and then we'll have a look at the article. Also called enhanced radiation warhead, specialized type of small ther thermonuclear weapon that produces minimal blast, and heat, but which releases large amount of lethal radiation. The neutron bomb delivers blast and heat effects that are confined to an area only a few hundred yards in radius, but within a somewhat larger area, it throws off a massive wave of neutron and gamma radiation, which can penetrate armor of several feet of Earth. This radiation is ex extremely destructive to living tissue because of its short-range destructive mission and, and absence of long-range effect. The neutron bomb would be highly effective against tank, in infantry formations on the battlefield, but would not endanger cities or other population centers only a few miles away. It can be carried in a lance missile or delivered by an 8-inch howitzer or possibly by a attack aircraft. In strategic terms, the neutron bomb has a theoretical deterrent effect, discouraging an armored ground assault by arousing fear of a neutron bomb counterattack. This bomb would disable uh, enemy tank crews in minutes. And those would die within days. U.S. Uh, production of the bomb was postponed in 78 and resumed in 81. So what's happening at Infowars.com? U.S., Russia, and China are threatening military action against North Korea, which could include neutron bombs capable of low-yield thermonuclear payloads designed to maximize lethal radiation in the immediate area of the blast while, while minimizing physical damage. So you drop this weapon and uh, stuff doesn't blow up. Uh, buildings don't blow up necessarily, um, but sockets dissolve, eyes dissolve in the sockets uh, of the, uh, the the people's heads who are, who are around it. The Pentagon considers neutron bombs as the only practical nuclear weapon in existence because they won't ensure mutual just destruction of state actors. Uh, U.S. China prepared to hit North Korea with neutron bombs. Alex June's uh, tweet there. Uh, Russia joins the U.S. and China in threatening military action against uh, North Korea um, after the ICBM almost hits Japan. So the the recent launch of the ICBM. So it's a it's it's, it's a very significant and a sort of a useful tactical nuclear weapon um, that is, really pinpoints damage. Uh, to a specific area and could be a, a very significant deterrent to North Korea and Kim, Kim Jong-un uh, if they showed the effectiveness of this particular weapon. Breaking news. Um, so this is uh, the, the weapon likely to be used in Zechariah. So the fact that this is coming out now, they're talking about using it. If they actually end up, do using, uh, um, end up using it, this is going to be huge prophetic impact uh, specifically with Zechariah and uh, likely to be used again then quickly uh, maybe right around Israel in the Middle East to pinpoint uh, uh, particular populations um, and to strategically uh, take out um, uh, people groups or, or military groups in the uh, densely populated Middle East uh, as opposed to just destroying you know um, for miles around uh, specific areas so this is quite significant news. I will leave it there. Uh, I'll put the link in the description. And uh, thanks for watching. You guys can uh, check out the link, like I say.